it should go down. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's how you got it up. I think you may have to put pressure on what you're pulling. Yep. That's what I thought. Yeah. While you're doing it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> like yeah. That. yeah. There. Thanks, Mike. Judge Carabina's kind of short. That's Nigel. Oh, that's Nigel. Oh. What's his name? Nigel. Nigel, okay. Mm -hmm. Is he your side? Is he on a team? Mm -hmm. He's a subcontractor. I would like to call the Monday, July 25th, 2022 Blue Springs Planning Commission meeting to order. Please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Could I have a roll call, please? Commissioner Sanderson. Commissioner Peel. Here. Commissioner Morton. Here. Commissioner Billups. Here. Commissioner Stokenberry. Here. Commissioner Graham. Present. Commissioner Rohr. Commissioner Craddock. Present. Thank you and welcome everyone this evening and those watching from home. Tonight's agenda consists of item 1A, the minutes from the July 11th Planning Commission meeting. Item two, Rezoning of Proverbs Estates, Villas, and Townhomes. Items three, Plan Development Concept Plan for Proverbs Estates, Villas, and Townhomes. Items four, Preliminary Plat for Proverbs Estates, Villas, and Townhomes. Item five, Rezoning of Double C Industries. Item six, General Development Plan for Double C Industries. Item seven, Conditional Use Permit. Item eight, Amended General Development Plan all about outdoors. Item nine, other business, and item 10, adjournment. At this time, I would entertain a motion for the consent agenda for the approval of the July 11th, 2022 meeting minutes. So, so approved. I have a motion from Commissioner Hill. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second from Commissioner Morton. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Agenda items two and three and four have been requested to be continued to the August 8th, 2022 Planning Commission meeting and August 15th, 2022 City Council meeting. At this time, I'll ask for a motion on the continuance of four agenda items two, three, and four. Chair. Commissioner Beal. I move that rezoning request RZ0622 8359 for Proverbs Estates Villas and Townhomes, along with uh, the PD Concept Plan PDC 0622 8361 for Proverbs Estate Villas and Townhomes, along with preliminary plat PP 0622 8360 for Proverbs Estate Villas and Townhomes uh, to be continued at the next meeting. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Commissioner Stokenberry. All those in favor? Say aye. aye. Any opposed? I will open the public hearing for agenda five, six, and seven, rezoning RZ-06-22-8354 general development plan GDP-06-22-8356 and conditional use permit CUP-06-22-8355 for Double C Industries. I will ask for the exhibits from our acting city attorney, Michael Hunt. Exhibit one, staff report with attachments. Exhibit two, <coughs> applicant plans with attachments. Exhibit three, affidavit of publication in the examiner on July 9th, 2022. Exhibit number four, 185 foot notification map. Exhibit number five, names addresses of property owners within 185 foot site. 
Top, exhibit number six, copy of letter sent to said property owners. Exhibit number seven, title four, land use section, Blue Springs Code of Ordinances. Exhibit number eight, 2014 comprehensive plan. Thank you. All those who wish to speak, please stand to be sworn in as a group. Thank you. At this time, I will ask for the staff's presentation. Ms. Bright. Adair Bright, 903 West Main Street, on behalf of the city, and I have been sworn in. Before you this evening, our request for a rezoning, conditional use permit, and general development plan with alternative development standards for Double C Industries at 1400 Southeast US 40 Highway. The subject property is located just south of US 40 Highway and about 600 feet west of Southeast Adams Dairy Parkway. The first request is for a rezoning from heavy industrial Adams Dairy Parkway overlay to light industrial Adams Dairy Parkway overlay. The rezoning is required since heavy industrial zoning is not allowed in the Adams Dairy Parkway overlay and when a site changes use or has a development proposal, the zoning must come into compliance. The second request is for a conditional use permit for the existing manufacturing general use on the property. The land use is allowed by right in the light industrial zoning district, but since the property is in the Adams Dairy Parkway overlay, all light industrials must get a conditional use permit. The final request is for a general development plan with alternative development standards. The applicant is proposing to add an approximately 5,000 square foot metal building to the site with the intent of using it as storage. The building is proposed to go in the last bit of open space that the site has. There is a conceptual landscaping plan provided, but most of the site is considered legal non-conforming. The applicant has requested alternative development standards because the site would have to be drastically changed in order to come into conformance with the current UDC. The following modifications include requesting a waiver from the 40% open space requirement in the Adams Dairy Parkway overlay, requesting a waiver from the corner side setback since the building is existing, requesting to waive the sidewalk width requirement for sidewalks leading to a building entrance, and requesting to waive landscaping requirements where no further development is proposed. Staff supports the request because the zoning becoming, is becoming less intensive and the adjacent properties are developed in similar ways. If all three applications are approved, the applicant will be required to preliminary and final plot the site, along with a site plan design review application to finalize site specifics. Staff recommends approval of the rezoning, approval of the conditional use permit with two conditions, and approval of the general development plan with two conditions, and I'm here for any questions. Thank you, Ms. Bright. Are there any questions for staff from the commission? Chair? Commission Field. Adair, is, um, can you explain uh, under pedestrian access why they're, they're not going to do anything or bring the sidewalks up to code? Yes, so all their pedestrian access um, from sidewalks to building entrance are on the northern side of the site. Um, they have just a few here that lead to the building entrances, but since they're not touching that area, they're requesting not to bring it into conformance. Okay, will that be done late at some later time, or is that not on the... That would be a question for the applicant. I don't believe that's going to be proposed. Okay. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Commissioner. Are there any other questions? Thank you. At this time, would the applicant like to come forward and speak? Could you come forward, please, and state your name and your address for the record? Kevin Starrett, HG Consult, 1411 Northeast Todd George Road. But what you have in front of you tonight is a plan for 5,000 square foot uh, building addition. Double C Industries is a, a cabinet shop and they've uh, found the need that they have the need for more expansion. And so what they would like to do is put this kind of screen back behind their T-shaped building is this standalone building and it's gonna be used for storage. So with this uh, plan, they hope to have it done and uh, we're agreeable with all the conditions that uh, that the staff has uh, recommended and we'd like to see your approval. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor of the project? You may be seated. Is there anyone in the audience that's opposed? The public comment section of the public hearing is over. Any further discussion from the staff? Any further discussion from the applicant? 
Any discussion from the commission? Chair. Commissioner Field. Um, I'd like to recall, was it Mr. Spear? Is it? <laughs> Mr. Spear, um, one of the things I had on here, or the questions I had was the sidewalk is, is not under current code and are, is there gonna be at some point those will be brought up to code or is there any projected time for that? Yeah, if, uh, if they do do anything in t interior of the existing building and maybe rework the front parking lot, that would definitely come into play at that time. But at, at currently, we are gonna add the sidewalk across the whole frontage that would match up with, uh, our, with Industrial Drive and then with KC Bobcat if they ever extend theirs over and match up with them. And I believe that's the ADA um, sidewalk? We do. All right. Thank you, Mr. Spirit. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Any other questions or comments? I will close the public hearing. And at this time, I'll ask for a motion on the rezoning. Chair. Commissioner Peel. I move the rezoning request RZ062283544 for Double C Industries be approved as submitted by staff. Do I have a second? Second. Commissioner Bill. This will be a roll call. Commissioner Peel. Aye. Commissioner Morton. Aye. Commissioner Billups. Aye. Commissioner Stokenberry. Aye. Commissioner Graham. Aye. Chairperson Cradoff. Aye. That motion carries. This item will be recommended and heard by the City Council at their Monday, August 1st meeting at 6 p.m. Well, now I ask for a motion on the general development plan. Chair. Commissioner Peel. I move that General De Development Plan GDP 06228356 for Double C Industries with the two conditions be approved and submitted by staff. Do I have a second? Second. Commissioner Stokerberg, taking. This will be a roll call. Commissioner Morton. Aye. Commissioner Billups. Aye. Commissioner Stokenberry. Aye. Commissioner Graham. Aye. Commissioner Peel. Aye. Chairperson Cradoff. Aye. That motion carried with two staff conditions. This item will be recommended and heard by the City Council at their Monday, August 1st meeting at 6 p.m. I will now ask for a motion on the conditional use permit. Do I have a, a, a motion? Chair. Commissioner Field. I move the conditional use permit CUP 06228355 for Double C Industries with the two conditions be approved and submitted by staff. Thank you, Commissioner. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Commissioner Graham. This will be a roll call. Commissioner Billups? Aye. Commissioner Stokenberry? Aye. Commissioner Graham? Aye. Commissioner Peel? Aye. Commissioner Morton? Aye. Chairperson Cradoff? Aye. This motion also carried with two staff conditions. This item will be recommended and heard by the City Council at their Monday, August 1st meeting at 6 p.m. I will now open the public hearing for agenda item eight, amended general development plan GDP-07-22-8366 for all about the outdoors. I will now ask for exhibits from our acting city attorney, Michael Hunt. Exhibit one, staff report with attachments. Exhibit two, applicant plans with attachments. Exhibit three, affidavit of publication in the examiner of July 9th, 2022. Exhibit number four, 185 foot notification map. Exhibit number five, names and addresses of property owners within 185 foot of site. Exhibit number six, copy of letter sent to said property owners. Exhibit seven, title four, land use section, Blue Springs Code of Ordinances. And item, uh, exhibit number eight, 2014 comprehensive plan. Thank you. All those who wish to speak, please stand and be sworn in as a group. At this time, I will ask for staff's presentation. Ms. Bright. Adair Bright, 903 West Main Street, on behalf of the city, and I have been sworn in. The next item on the agenda is a request for a general development plan amendment for All About the Outdoors, a proposed indoor and outdoor storage facility proposed to be located on approximately 16.7 acres at the southeast corner of Northwest 7 Highway and Argo Road. The site has a previously approved general development plan for All About the Outdoors, but the applicant has since stated that the site layout before you tonight will work better with the topography. Let's see. 
The site will have one point of access off of Northwest 7 Highway, and the applicant will be installing a 5-foot ADA-compliant sidewalk along the 7 Highway frontage. The site meets all development standards for the general industrial building type, Let's see, including setbacks, building coverage, and building height. The site is required 63 parking spaces that will also double as outdoor storage. There are a total of 311 internal storage units and 123 external storage bays. The applicant is hoping to be able to relocate the existing cemetery plot, but if that is not feasible, it shall be preserved and protected in its entirety and shall be identified in the site plan design review. The applicant is also proposing the six-foot vinyl fence all along the seven highway frontage and then switching to the chain link with slats around the rest of the property. There have been no requested modifications to the UDC. The conceptual site plan includes 18 different buildings and three outdoor storage areas which will be developed in two phases, starting with the southernmost portion and then moving on to the northern. Exterior, exterior building materials include C metal panels and the buildings adjacent to 7 Highway are proposed to have EFIS wainscoting. The architectural design and materials meet the minimum non-residential design standards and will be reviewed in greater detail with the site plan design review process. A conceptual landscape plan has also been provided. With buffering, parking lot landscaping, and open space landscaping, the site is required 2,160 plant units. Landscaping will, re will be reviewed in greater detail with the site plan design review. Staff reviewed the general development plan application under the review criteria and finds that the request meets the review criteria. The proposed development is compatible with the character of the area and is not expected to generate a large increase in noise or traffic. Staff recommends approval of the general development plan with eight conditions, and I'm here for any questions. Thank you, Ms. Bright. Are there any questions for staff from the commission? Chair? Commissioner Peel. Adair, what's, what's actually being amended in this request versus the original GDP plan that was submitted? Yeah, so they're changing the building orientation. Originally, most of the buildings came up along 7 Highway, and they were angled vertically. Now they're kind of moving them horizontally perpendicular to 7 Highway. Um, staff felt that that was a big enough change to bring it back before you guys as a general development plan and then take it to city council. I see. Is uh, also the second question that... With this orientation, is there any problems with turn radius in, in entering these particular buildings? I would defer to the engineer on the application. Right, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bryant. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Commissioner. Would the applicant like to come forward and speak at this time? Would you please come forward and state your name and your address for the record? Uh, Robert. Yeah. Robert Walquist. Uh, 821 uh, Columbus, Lee Summit, Missouri. Um, yes, as far as the turnarounds, we, we still have access. They're like 30, 40 feet turnarounds for large vehicles to get in there. So, And the outside, we have 26 foot aisles minimum. Most of them are like 30, 40. So, okay, yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And then as far as the orientation, the original plan, I think he had laid out by an architect that didn't really take the topography into account and it just it goes down pretty steep and to move all that dirt to flatten the site would have cost quite a bit so we decided to flip them and a little more economical anyway but I am here to answer any questions if you have them uh, as far as that fence that's going to be between the buildings and then around the the open around the north end of it it won't be behind the building and then the building it would be just between the buildings the building will act like a a fence i guess i just wanted to clarify that thank you are there any questions for the applicant from the commissioners Mr. Martin. I'm curious, where's the cemetery located? It's between building. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Like right there. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we shrink that building 12, and we can shrink it more depending on where that's at. Uh, if we cannot move that, then they, they still have the, the width to drive around it. It's just, it's going to eliminate a couple of units on building 
10 to where they can't come in will probably just make the buildings on the south side longer. So if they have a, you know, like a boat and an RV, they can park it in there. Is this like an old family cemetery plot or something? Uh, yes, it's an individual, yes. Do you have any idea how many graves are in there? Or I have no there? idea. I, I didn't do the, the original survey, so I should have pictures of it, but I don't. That'd be interesting. On, I plan on voting yes. On yeah, that. it would be interesting. When the cemetery right. issue, when it comes back for final, uh, I would like to at least make sure that we're not, uh, uh, the historical society's been contacted, okay. make sure we don't have any historical uh, significance there. And I'll, I'll try to bring some pictures, because I, I personally have not seen it. So I don't know if it's a chain link fence or just an old, you know, we don't have any history on that so far. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Are there any other questions from the commissioners? Thank you, you may be seated. Thank you. We have one speaker this evening that's in favor for the project. Ms. Allison White, would you please come forward and state your name and address for the, for the record? <coughs> Hello, my name is Allison White. Uh, my address is 2613 South Owens School Road, uh, Independence, Missouri. Um, I live near this project. Um, I, this is the, my first time attending a planning meeting. I primarily came just to learn more about it, to learn what the plans were for that site. Um, <clears throat> and went ahead and filled out a form in case I did want to speak. Um, my main concern as someone who lived in the area was that there would be a sidewalk along the seven highway frontage i think that's that that kind of accessibility and access for um employees and for neighbors is really important um and so i'm pleased to see that and that's the primary thing that affects me so i'll i am in favor as i put on my form well, thank you for your comment you may be seated at this time, is there anyone else in the audience that's opposed to the project? The public comment sections of the public hearing is over. Any further discussion from the staff? No. Any further discussion from the applicant? Any further discussion from the commission? Chair? Commissioner Field. Uh, as Commissioner Morton brought up, uh, do, would you intend to make a, add an additional condition onto that, that further um, research be done on, on what's provided for the cemetery? Uh, yes, I, I'm concerned that uh, the location up there, you know, right across uh, seven, a little bit south there, we had that cemetery in the entrance to Pink Hill Park that uh, had some historical significance, had about, I think, five, six graves in it, and it related back to Quantrell's raid over here, and I just want to make sure that somebody looks at that and uh, public checks it, so. In regards to the cemetery. The cemetery. Okay. Could you please my go forward? Is, Could yes, you my please name come is Lindsay Prentice. State your name and address for the record. Excuse yes, my name is Lindsay Prentice. I'm at 9419 excuse North me for, Flora. Excuse me, for, excuse me for a moment. Yeah. We'll have to uh, reopen the, the public hearing for that purpose. Is there anybody in favor that would speak for the for the uh, opening of the public comment section? For the public comment section? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you can state your, your name and address for the record. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Lindsay Prentice, 9419 North Flora Avenue, Kansas City, Missouri, 64155. And I, I'm the real estate agent that was helping the applicant throughout the entire process, and I did a lot of legwork to help him. And I will be a minority shareholder of the business as well. Um, we did do some research on that. I know that Donnie Sword, he had contacted um, you know everyone that he needs to it's a family the Robertson family and it's their family grave I don't know how many people 
you know, there are in that grave site, but I know that he's going to contact the historical society, and if it, he only wants to have the grave moved if, if everything is done on the up and up, and it's okay. So that's something that they've made very clear from the beginning that has to be done, and we know it's the Robertson family. We, we've tried to find a little bit of background on them, and we just really can't, so. You're welcome. Any further discussion from the, from the commissioners? Chair, I guess I'm trying to Stokenberg. I'm trying to understand that as well. How did this was there, and how did we proceed this far with that being there, and not get that moved or not get that resolved? Um, Would you like to comment yeah, sure. on that, uh, Ms. Bruce? Yeah, it's not required to be relocated for the site to be developed. Um, it does have to be preserved in its entirety no matter what happens. Obviously, they're not going to pave over it. We do have the intention um, to strengthen the condition that relates to the cemetery. I believe it's condition seven or eight. Um, but at a sub point in there that by the time the site plan design review is applied for, they have to provide us with all the proper documentation that they've contacted, everybody that needs to be contacted to make sure it's being done appropriately. And that'll be built into the ordinance whenever it goes to city council. Thank you. Chair? Commissioner oh, Go ahead, Mr. Uh, Commissioner Bills. I, Mr. Bills. I, I was just going to say, I believe that in the original layout, um, they had just allowed for that to be a fenced area that mm -hmm. was already, they weren't going to encroach on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why it wasn't, that's why it went through the first time, was because there, there wasn't going to be any activity around that site. It was, it was going to be fenced off. Yeah. Thank you, Commissioner Bills. Commissioner Bills. Yes, Adair, is there, is there a necessity to add an additional condition for that, or that would probably come our site design review? Yeah, we were going to just add it as a sub point to an existing condition so it doesn't mess with the amount of conditions that we say there are. So if you recommend it with eight conditions, it still gets approved by council with eight conditions. Okay. Um, so we were going to add it as like a little letter under that number okay. um, to state everything that needs to be submitted with that. All right, thank you. Thank you, uh, Chair. Thank you, Commissioner Peel. Any other questions? I will close the hearing. I will now ask for the motion on the amended general development plan. Mr. Chair. Commissioner Bill. I move for approval of the uh, revised GDP 07228366 with the eight staff conditions. Do I have a second? Second. Commissioner, thank you, Commissioner Graham. This will be a roll call. Commissioner Stokenberry? Nay. Commissioner Graham? Aye. Commissioner Peel? Aye. Commissioner Morton? Aye. Commissioner Billups? Aye. Chairperson Cradoff? Aye. This motion carried with eight staff conditions. This item will be recommended and heard by the City Council at their Monday, August 1st meeting at 6 p.m. Item 9 business the next planning commission meeting will be scheduled for monday august 8th 2022 does the staff have any other business no we do not thank you does the commission have any other business thank you if there's no other business i would entertain a motion to adjourn so moved second thank you commissioner stokenberry and commissioner graham all in favor say aye aye, aye. any opposed this meeting is adjourned. Good night. You know what? Let me just